If you watch my channel regularly, you probably think that becoming a quote unquote hot guy is the end goal. But what if I told you you're totally wrong? If this right here is a starting point, right here is hot guy. There is another goal way beyond over here that I call ultimate sex icon status. These are the guys that women flock to, that women can't stop thinking about. They obsess over them. And today I'm gonna share with you the one thing you need to achieve ultimate sex icon status. It's not easy, but it's possible. Now you're probably wondering, Brett, where the hell are you? I'm actually back home at my parents' house in Colorado. You can see all the country and horse stuff behind me. So in honor of that, I gotta saddle up, boys. Now let's get into, it's a little lopsided. Now I'm feeling it, now I'm ready, let's get into it. But first, a little order of business. Shout out to Tej Hanley for sponsoring today's video. Tej Hanley, the best skincare in the game. I've been working with them for the past five years. I promoted them before we even did a sponsored video together or anything like that. They are a subscription-based skincare company. All you do is you go online, you pick the level you want to start with and subscribe, and they'll ship all your skincare needs right to your door without you even having to move a muscle. If you have no idea Idea where to start, I recommend starting with Tease Level 1, which includes a morning and evening moisturizer, a daily face wash, and an exfoliating scrub. It's super important at the very minimum to at least use a daily moisturizer that has at least SPF 15 sunblock in it. And luckily, the Tease AM moisturizer has SPF 20, so they got you covered. The skin is gonna do crazy damage to your skin, so you wanna get ahead of that, right? And I got a deal, so you know what that means. You guys get a deal too. Click the link in the description, and you can enjoy 30% off of your first box and a free gift so go check it out and uh, support the sponsor because supporting them supports me so uh yeah thank you to teach and i gotta say man check out that skin i'm glowing baby and you can too check out teach now back to the meat and bones of this video now you probably clicked on this video expecting some you know listicle five things i can do i can you know wear this shirt blah 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 some alpha m type video right and shout out to him i love aaron but this isn't that type of video there's really just one thing that you need and one thing alone are you ready let me show you somebody check out this guy He's hot, right? We can all agree, good looking dude. Now, feast your eyes upon this man. We can all agree he is leaps and bounds more sexy and attractive than the first no homo. But would you be shocked to hear that this is the same guy? That guy I just showed you is the TV actor Jacob Elordi. You know, he can look like a normal, you know, high school Chad guy, but when he really puts in the effort, he can look like a freaking ultimate sex icon. Just read the comments under that photo, dude. The girls are thirsty. I tell you that. He created a vibe. Now let me show you this guy. This is Tom Blythe, another actor. Not bad, right? He's maybe a five, six, six and a half tops probably, right? But if you saw the new Hunger Games movie, which I did, where he plays the main character, Cornelius Snow or whatever the hell, man, we'd all agree this dude is a stud. He actually was my inspiration to dye my hair. He looked like, like I kind of wanted to him just kidding i didn't obviously but, yeah. <laughs> but i'm just saying if you've seen the movie you understand he dominated that movie and this guy tom could easily have carried the same vibe you know he had the buzzed platinum hair he looked like a chad bro he could easily adopt that into his in real life persona right but obviously he probably wants that broad appeal so he can get movie gigs and stuff like that so he doesn't do that but in the movie he was leaps and i'm talking football fields more attractive than he is in real life because he puts in the little extra work created this vibe and it even impressed upon me to the point where i went and dyed my freaking hair blonde another example that hits a little closer to home maybe these are my friends sam and colby they are just some average guys but they started one of the biggest channels on youtube called sam and colby where they go ghost hunting they have 12 million subscribers at this point i don't even know they they're huge right they're very good friends of mine and they're really cool but what's interesting about them is they have have little cult followings because they created a vibe. You know, take everything away from them. Let's say they were just average, normal Joe Schmoes, right? They go out ghost hunting. Yeah, they probably build a following, but they totally bought into this niche appeal. And what field are they in? What's their niche? 
well, it's kind of this, you know, emo-y, hot topic-y, soft boy vibe, right? They, they're literally on posters at Hot Topic and they have the most cult following audience I have ever seen. People are obsessed with them. Their pictures on Instagram get more likes than Logan Paul and they're a fraction of the size. That's because they've created a vibe with the way that they pose, the way they do their hair, the color of their hair, what they wear, how they talk to their fans. It's a conscious effort and it's paid off incredibly well. I'll give you one last example. This guy is not a huge celebrity or anything like that. He is my friend, sort of friend. We follow each other on Instagram, so uh, whatever that means. And his name is Large Badge. And he was this super fat guy. He would admit 280 pounds or something. He totally slimmed down, but he totally, totally changed his look. He curls his eyelashes. He grew his hair out. He wears a certain aesthetic of clothing. He has a nose ring, I believe. And that's probably not your cup of tea. A lot of you guys out there are probably scoffing and calling him gay, but he gets like tit pics in his DMs daily. I've seen it. Say what you want, but niche appeal and creating a vibe is invaluable and something you want to start considering doing, whether you're at the very beginning of your looks max journey or if you've already achieved ultimate Chad level attractiveness. Now, I can't tell you exactly how to do it. You got to do that on your own. Do your research. Look what appeals to you, what you find interesting interesting, what kind of people you want to associate with. I will give you one little hint though. There's an old Italian phrase called sprezzatura. Sprezzatura is an Italian phrase that first appeared in Baldassare Castiglione's 1528, The Book of the Courtier, where it is defined by the author as a certain nonchalance so as to conceal all art and make whatever one does or says appear to be without effort and almost without any thought about it. It is conscious effortlessness. That's right. It is conscious effortlessness. It's looking like an aura, a spectacle, but without even trying whatsoever. It is most easily done with how you dress, your hair. I will admit most guys look much better with their hair grown out and with some product and conscious styling efforts. There's a ton of good looking guys out there with a classic boring crew cut haircut who could look so much more attractive with some long, interesting hair. The use of jewelry, the use of piercings, tattoos, makeup even maybe? No, I know, I know a lot of you guys are getting repelled by this idea. You just want to become an attractive Chad, right? Fine, I will admit going above and beyond and pushing to this outer limit is only for the most bold. But always remember, fortune favors the bold.